the cold season's here, and you got that golden opportunity to get the loads in, and if you can't get them in then, then you ain't getting them in at all. In the early 2000s, there was a surging demand for reality shows that were based around cars. A lot of these shows that met these demands merely focused on finding interesting cars and fixing them. But in 2007, there was a new and exciting series that showed the world a different side to cars. The name of that series was Ice Road Truckers and was a reality TV show that people did not know they needed until they saw it. The show debuted in 2007 and ran until 2017. During its incredible 10-year run, the show had an incredible 138 episodes and millions of viewers. It was so successful that it had 3 million viewers per episode. There were even rumors that the network owners wanted to ride on the show's wave to make a movie. Before Ice Road Truckers, people had no idea that they wanted to watch drivers in huge trucks take on challenging journeys. After Ice Road Truckers, people knew that was precisely what they needed. As always with reality TV shows, the success of Ice Road Truckers created a few celebrities. Some of the drivers who are constrained on the show became popular indeed. Today, the show has ended, and we will be looking back at those drivers and will be figuring out what they're doing now with their lives. Now, throughout the grueling 138 episodes of the show, 27 brave drivers were featured. For this video, we'll be looking at the lives of the drivers who were featured the most. Alex Debergorski Deborah Gorski is probably the most important trucker on the show because he's the only one who's featured in every single season. That is some insane stamina for Deborah Gorski. From the outside looking in, it's easy to assume that all reality show stars do is look at a camera and be pretty. That's not true at all. Deborah Gorski managed to keep up with the intense filming schedule of the show while being very busy himself. After all, he is a family man with 11 children and 13 grandchildren. He had all of these children from the same marriage too and has been married for around 40 years. At this point, you're probably wondering how old he is. Well, hang on to your jaws folks as Deborah Gorski was already 67 when the show started and had been driving trucks for 27 years before then. Right now, Deborah Gorski has an estimated net worth of about half a million dollars, which is surely not bad for a truck driver. He also has a pretty successful book out on the shelves and also appears on other TV stations. Of course, you might be wondering why Deborah Gorski isn't that rich, despite being on a show like Ice Road Truckers for more than a decade. The answer is pretty simple. He doesn't get paid enough, and that's by design. The network producing Ice Road Truckers argued that by paying the truckers a huge amount of money, they would stop being blue-collar truckers and the show would lose its authenticity, which just sounds like the kind of thing you say to people when you want them to do more work for less. Anyway, by the time the show rounded up, Deborah Gorski was 77 years old and he was still driving his truck on the ice roads of Canada. Right now, no one has heard anything about Deborah Gorski, which can only mean one thing, he's still trucking. Hugh Rowland If there were such a thing as trucking royalty, Rowland would certainly be on that list. Rowland, who was nicknamed the polar bear for obvious reasons, has been trucking ever since he was a teenager. He's probably one of the most experienced truck drivers to ever live, and he certainly was the most experienced truck driver on the show. Roland featured in the first eight series of the show, and every time he came on the screen, you just knew that he was a force to be reckoned with. And he didn't just show that on the screen, he showed that to the people running the show themselves. After he got in a car crash while being driven by one of the show's producers, Roland went ahead to sue the show itself. As a result of this, he was fired from the network, but that wasn't the end of Roland's television journey. After leaving Ice Road Truckers, Roland went on to star in other shows such as IRT Deadliest Roads. Today, Roland is happily retired from trucking and focused on building his construction company and spending time with his family. Because of his diversification into other businesses and shows, Roland is now the richest cast member of the show as he's rumored to be worth $2 million. Lisa Kelly Lisa Kelly is one of the most important truckers on the show for several reasons. The first is that she appeared on eight seasons of the show, making her one of the most featured truckers. And the second is that she's one of the only female truckers in the show or the trucking business as a whole. Kelly is also one of the most colorful characters on Ice Road Truckers. After her first couple of seasons on the show, Kelly started to talk about how she wasn't too comfortable with two camera crews following her wherever she went. According to her, it was an extreme invasion of privacy and it was something she wanted a break from, and she got that break indeed. 
After filming the fifth season of the show, which was her third season, she told the showrunners that she would not be returning for the sixth season. Her reason was simple. The idea of camera crews following her everywhere was one that she needed to get used to. Another reason she gave for skipping the sixth season of the show was that she needed time to ground herself as she was finding it difficult to deal with the fame the show gave her. Thankfully, Kelly's break was only for the sixth season, and she came back for the rest of the series fully energized and ready to face the cameras. So what is Kelly up to right now? Well, nothing much really. She's still trucking for one. She has also been named the sexiest trucker alive by Esquire magazine, which is kind of what you'd expect when you consider what most of her colleagues look like. Seriously, you would not think twice before calling Lisa Kelly the sexiest trucker ever. Aside from that, she has also gotten quite lucrative sponsorship deals from a lot of trucking companies around the world. She's been a guest at a lot of trucking events too, and is now seen as a female icon since she paved the way for loads of women to work in male-dominated professions. Art Burke We got to meet Art Burke a lot later in the series and saw him for the first time in the seventh series of the show. Despite joining Ice Road Truckers pretty late on, Burke quickly became one of the most interesting characters on the show. That's probably why he was a staple on the show till it ended in the 11th series. While on the show, Burke quickly became known for his filthy language, rough persona, and dark sense of humor. Knowing reality show directors and their mischievous ways, Burke may be none of these things in real life. In any case, that was the perception he gave on screen, and people loved him for it. While not much has been heard about Burke since the end of the show, we do know that he pleaded guilty to a very rare charge of causing arson by negligence in 2020. It appears that old Burke is still doing things his way and setting fire everywhere he goes to, both literally and figuratively. So, how did Burke catch this charge of arson by negligence? It's a funny story, but it should not be surprising to you if you know who Burke is. It appeared that our man Burke was trying to make a concentrated form of cannabis called Shatter. Sadly, the production process of Shatter caused a fire that led to more than $60,000 worth of damage to neighboring properties on the street. Burke himself spent 12 days in hospital recovering from injuries and severe burns caused by the incident. Following this, Burke was sentenced to 18 months of house arrest, and he noted that the entire ordeal had cost him very dearly. Before this incident, most people suggest that Burke's estimated net worth was around $300,000, but this amount is now unknown. We're also pretty sure that amount is now smaller, because he sure got into a lot of debt or sold some personal items to pay for the damaged property. Todd Dewey like Burke, Dewey joined the show in the seventh season and stuck around to the final episode of the show. Now, there are two important things we know about Dewey right now. The first is he's still a trucker, and you can probably find him on the ice roads if you really wanted to. We also know that Todd was in a ghastly accident in 2019. Thankfully, he was lucky not to have any fatal injuries. Sadly, the people that he crashed into weren't so lucky. Both the driver and the passenger were instantly killed. After investigations by the police, it was decided that the accident wasn't Dewey's fault at all, and it was just an unfortunate accident. After all, everyone involved wore seatbelts and nobody was under the influence. It's really amazing that a lot of the truckers on the ice road truckers have not let fame get to their heads and have basically got their heads and continued working at a job they love. Perhaps many more celebrities should be like them.